The baby touchers are in full panic mode right now. They're hiding in the rat cave, afraid to come out after seeing all their fellow touchers getting hunted down one by one by this Russian Batman. Now in this channel, we made multiple videos about Vitaly first coming up in January. He said he's going to turn his life around. We talked about it. We talked about his past and we wish him the best. Guys, we've been talking about live streaming for six months and Dream came out here on his own expense because he knows that he's broke. He came out here and he's literally doing this for me for free and he's staying with his one of his friends, not even me. I don't have a place. I've been living in my G-Wagon sleeping that I haven't paid for I don't know how long. So that's life. I mean, don't do drugs. Everyone deserves a second chance. Same like Fuzi came, everyone gave him a chance. He took kick by surprise, but unfortunately he didn't last long because the money got to him again and he got a lot of ego and he lost everything. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral. Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're and a lot of people thought Vitaly is going to go down the same route as well. But fortunately, Vitaly actually learned his mistakes and he is working harder than ever. He started this new series, Catching uh, Child Touchers, Baby Touchers, in January. He sets up a team to text potential baby touchers, meets up with them, confronts them and tell them it's either the police or you're gonna, I'm going to walk you in at least like a dog. And the joke was on him because some of them really enjoyed it. Some of them had that doggy kink. Yo, what is Cuff him! You dumbass mother... The whole thing was really like funny, entertaining to watch. Even though some people were against it, they were like, oh, the law enforcement should handle this. I was the same as well. I was like, okay, this is maybe getting too much after that incident of a knockout that I, the video that I covered two weeks ago. I hope they follow you, I got kids, homeboy. I got oh shit, no way. No way you guys just did that. Things were getting more intense and more illegal each time uh, Vitaly did a child toucher stream. I said in the last video that it's better for Vitaly just to catch them, expose them, in order to do this, all these illegal things because he's going to get himself into trouble. And let the police handle this. And once he goes to prison, he's, there's going to be things done to him. And justice will be served. I want to take everything that I said about police should handle this situation. Put it in a garbage bag, wrap it around, and throw it outside the fucking window. Because the government, the police are trying everything they can. But the DA is not going to prosecute child, touch, child, touch, child, touch, child touchers. They're basically like desk sergeant has said don't bring him in there's nothing that the da is going to do now just write it up file it up and that's all we can do now la is not going to prosecute pedophiles so we got to just keep bringing a light to it because unfortunately no fault of theirs hold on a second everything they can for us but it's the da's in california that are refusing to prosecute pedophiles the this DA's is this is police are doing everything they can but the da is not supporting them this is why no more f***ing cops. I'm bringing all the tools in the world tomorrow. I'm bringing a chainsaw. So out of the God knows how many baby touchers, Vitaly, I'm guessing around 20 that he caught so far in the past month. Only a few of them got arrested. Maybe three or four maximum got arrested for not for the child touching uh, crime, but for having like drugs and uh, illegal substances on them. We just caught an illegal coming here to sleep with four, four 15 year old boys, some of them are 14, and he brought crystal meth. He's an illegal, he doesn't have any papers. It's crazy to me how the US government is not going to do anything against, against this baby touchers like it is a it is a crime imagine that kid was like your child how would they react to this what is the reason behind not uh, fucking charging these baby touchers are they afraid they're gonna catch too many and it's gonna go in the world guinness record of the who has the you know most ch child touchers out in the world and the US is going to come out and it's going to be a bad look for them. But there has been some videos surfacing the internet about some uh, baby touchers who are the police have been investigating them. Then they meet up in a motel, same like that guy who got sh like shot like, I don't know, 300 times by the cops. It's crazy even how many baby touchers are out there. Even the one of the Hollywood most known producers was also caught with a 15 year old. Bro was like 80 something. 
your name? Oh, fuck. What's your name? Who are you? What's your Who name? You? Who are you? Why are you suing my fucking daughter? What's your name? What is your name? Boris. My name is Boris. What's Boris. What, what's your name? Shake my hand. What's the problem? Why are you suing my daughter? You know how old she is? I don't know. I have no idea. You have no idea. No you have no idea. No. What the f thought was gonna happen here? Crazy. They're in the bathroom. Who is it? What the oh, fuck? Oh, Yo, oh, what the oh, fuck oh, is oh, wrong oh, with oh, you? Get the. Are you kidding me? You're meeting a three. Come outside. Are you kidding me? You got caught in the act? I don't know how Vitaly finds his kids to put them in this risk, and I bet he goes in his Discord and he's like, guys. Who wants to be a potential victim? Who who wants to catch some grandpas uh, touching you? And people are like, me, 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 put me in your video, put me in your video. And <laughs> they fucking go all inside the bathroom. Imagine they're like late to it. Imagine the guy is already like forcing himself on them and he's like doing things to them. And Vitaly is just like running and they're like late to the situation. And last night, Vitaly and Aiden Ross reunited again. And on the last day of his 10 day streak on catching uh, baby touchers, this is what happened. You ready to wrestle a gator? <laughs> you ready? Oh shit, I'm out of here, bro. Yeah, I'm out of here too. <laughs> <laughs> Take a good look in there, bro. Take a good freaking look at that. Cops or gator? What's your choice? <laughs> Snappy poopy. You snap your arm right half, bro. Snap, snap, oh, snappy it's poopy. Like a freaking weapon snappy you. poopy. Put your finger in there, right down. Snappy poop. This 24-year-old baby toucher just finished work, and he was so excited to meet with this 15-year-old that he's been talking to on text messages, dirty talking and everything. Shows up all excited, thinking he's going to get some that night. Little did he know he was going to meet an alligator instead. Snappy poopy. Honestly, bro looks like he came straight out of prison. He was straight when we, he went in, but he took the statement that you never know if you like it, if you don't try it too seriously. He tried it and he liked it and he came out as full gay. And in the 10th day of the streak, they brought Myron and Aiden Ross in it. Why, did, why the fuck did they bring Myron in this situation? What is Myron going to do in this situation? He's going to be like, being fat is unacceptable. Woman, men, equality is not true. Men should control their woman. I have your text messages here. Okay. Says something about making them a little slut. You said that. Yeah, man, you liked it. Myron, right, Andrew has something to say. Dude, why'd you try to kiss me straight off the bat? <laughs> yeah, didn't he say you wanted to stretch his ass? Dude, sure, just... But do you know how old he is? He told me that later. How old did he tell you he was? He told me he was 18. Really? And it's No, you said he was 15 and you said that. What were you doing? This guy, this guy. Uh, some condoms. And what they do is they come and they say, is either you're going to play our game show, which is a game show for embarrassing you, or we're going to call the police and you're going to get arrested. So they will take their... The best and only option they have is to play the game show and at the end they're gonna go like psych We're actually kidding. You're actually gonna get arrested you piece of shit and with Vitaly's interaction and the thing he's doing He definitely sat down with his lawyer and he you know walked through which is legal Which is not because throughout the stream they were like we're not forcing you to stay here You're allowed to leave any time now he's in handcuffs, but it doesn't mean that he's going to go to prison. Most likely he's going to go to court and the DA is going to be like, nope, we're not pressing any charges because we need more child touchers out on the street. They are good for our community. After seeing that DA is not going to do anything about the situation, I'm, fu I'm fully supporting Vitaly on this. I've what it's becoming entertaining for me to watch. And I always said this in my previous videos as well, like ch baby touchers 
they do not <coughs> have any human rights. Is this going to help out the community and keep your children safer? A little bit. Yes, it is going to also scare a lot of the ch child uh, fucking baby touchers to be aware next time they go out or they're not going to go out at all. They're going to fucking go back in the rat cave and take ex extreme precautions next time they want to do anything because this Russian Batman is just going to pop up. But there's still going to be people out there. But the best we can do is try to do better and clean it up day by day. He's not going as extreme as he used to go in the past past month or two with these baby touchers where he used to do a lot of illegal stuff. He's taking precautions, but he's also keeping it entertaining and embarrassing the shit out of them. Before I end the video, I just want to say that I'm very actually proud of Vitaly's comeback. He went through a lot of stuff, but he came out of it as a better person. He's keeping consistency. He's doing the best he can hopefully he won't get lost in the sauce and lost in the sugar again i'm very happy he didn't end up like fuzzy to be honest but yeah just wanted to share this news with you share what's happening and yeah that's about it take care of yourself i'll see you in the next one